Okay, guys. Welcome to this month's video on cool knives. Thank you, Thomas. I call these the machete cleaver. They're shaped like a machete, but they're short like a cleaver. They're only, what, 12 inches or something? This one, anyway. Maybe 12 inches long. They're small. But what they uh, lack in size, they make up for in coolness. These are really, really cool knives, man. Now, I will say, I'm not making this video to sell you a cool knife. If you want to buy a cool knife, go ahead. I'll put the link in the video description. You can buy yourself a cool knife, but that's on you. Nothing to do with me. I make this video, well, for one, I want, I want people to watch it. And two, I want to show off the craftsmanship. The, the amazing people that make these knives, man, I tell you what, these are craftsmen through and through, as good as it gets. Just think the amazing work that went into taking a piece of leaf spring steel that's going for scrap and turning it into a masterpiece. Look at that. That's why I do the videos. And I think the knives are insanely cool. You should always make videos about things you're interested in. Now, I'm pretty sure the wife sold a bunch like this one. Not a bunch, a few. But probably none like that. I don't remember selling any like this. I don't know why, because I like this one a lot better. Personally. Maybe it's because it looks a lot like my machete. Look at the stamp. Not sure what that's about. You see the patina on here? That coating? That's what you want. That don't rust. This will rust. So you got to get the patina on here. And you do that with time. Time does that. Uh, push through tang. I don't know how long it is. Oh, wait now. It comes out the other side somehow. Don't know how that works. The other one's like it as well. So it's all the way through. And it's got the sleeve on here. You can see the, the hole down, down through there. It's on there really good, no doubt about that. Uh, looks like it's glued or some kind of resin. I don't know if that's the natural resin that they use from, uh, I think it's ants. Or not, I don't know. And you got the nice wooden handle. If you saw the conditions that these guys work in, which is basically sitting in their backyard under a tree, you'd be surprised that they could turn out such masterpieces. But look at that thing, huh? How amazing is that? Now this one. It's basically the same knife. Just a different design. Same steel, same handle, same uh, push through tang, which is, uh, I have seen before, but it's not that popular. Looks pretty cool. Got the sleeve on here. It's in there tight. Can't much budget. That's tight. Really thick. Look at that, huh? What is that? Five millimeters thick? Look at that. Very, really cool. Looks really nice, I think. The amazing coating on there, and the patina, amazing. Like I said, I know she sold some of these, but I don't think any of that one. I don't know why. I like this one. <laughs> Personal preference again, you know? Uh, I think they're both really cool knives. I don't know what you would use them for. That's why I you you can't use them for food because for chopping you smack your knuckles in the cutting board. And to use them as a machete, a bit short would work. Would work for both. Uh, around here, they use a machete for for cutting food anyway. So. Uh, it don't really matter it's really really cool you can see the only thing that I see 
that's a little bit funky the blade starts about here yeah so it's a short blade anyway and you're losing the first couple of inches of it but still very very nice fairly sharp you could make that thing like a razor pretty easily if you so desired like again depends on what you're using it for I know sharp you need it for me a machete don't need to be razor sharp but if you're cutting food you know using it as a cleaver then sharp is good and again just my opinion pretty cool yeah look at that huh well there it is guys another cool knife the wife has a bunch of them if you're interested shopthailandonline.com link for these two will be in the video description uh, go to the home page check out what she's got I got pictures all through there of the different uh, different ones available she lost her contact to get these cool knives the steel handle ones can get no problem the wooden handle ones very very difficult to get and uh, the contact that she did have has been missing for a couple of months they haven't come around so uh, this might be the the end of it I don't know when they're gone they're gone that's how it looks right now you know it's a family run business maybe something came up and uh, they stopped doing the, the circuit that they were doing or maybe uh, they just got out of the business who knows all right guys as always thanks for watching I do appreciate it uh, more videos coming up here right now of some more cool knives